Matt Bryant making a telephone call to 887, a number that called Carol Baskin. The date is 824. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, this is Matt. I'm just returning a call a little bit delayed, but I'm returning a call on behalf of uh, Carol Baskins uh, and Big Cat Rescue. She had a missed call from this number. I'm with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And the reason I'm returning this call is Ms. Baskin asked me to be because it was a number that uh, she was not familiar with. Is it best to just meet somewhere? Or, I, I don't know. Well, where are you at, man? I, I'm in Ardmore. Okay. So I'm a little, I'm a little jog down from you. You bet. I know uh, Ardmore well, and I, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you some questions now, so I kind of know what I'm getting into. Um, yeah. You have some information that that you know about this um, exotic wildlife trade, and. Uh, I'm assuming some of the information may be uh, involving a resident that doesn't live too far from Ardmore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who am well, I? Here, here's a, who am I happen to he, know too well? He might be a governor care, uh, candidate or something. Yeah, I know him very, very well. Okay, so here, here's the deal, man. I, I know them well. I know. Other people well. Um, I was in the animal industry for a while. I don't like Carol Baskin or anything that they're trying to accomplish. I don't believe in getting rid of animals. I'm not into all the politics. But I do get pissed off when people are putting mm -hmm. down animals that are perfectly healthy okay. for, per, for personal gain. And it's a moral thing, you know, to mm -hmm. me. And... Uh, if I sit here and just let things happen, it just makes me feel guilty. Gotcha. I don't want to go to no core. I don't want to do this. I just want to give you some information and let you do whatever you want to do with right. it. Do you know um, Do you know Joe better or do you know Carol better? Or I, guess I don't so. even know Carol. All right. Do you think, who do you think's the bad guy in this? <coughs> Man, that's a hard question to, to, to answer, to be honest with you. Right. Well, yeah, I, I think I, Carol, I, Carol is crazy. She's doing. She's only out for personal gain, obviously. You know, because her cats live in... I've been to her place. Her cats live in filth and junk and all that. I don't agree with what she's doing. I don't agree with what he's doing. I'm just kind of like caught in the middle. Okay. But I've had tigers. I've done that. I've known, you know, the animal industry. I know half the people in it. I know all the bad stuff that goes on. I know who the scumbags are, who the the, the decent people are, and I just, you know. Let me ask you a question that's yeah. just been uh -huh. bothering me. How in the world are they moving so many cats between all these institutions and all the costs associated with this, and especially, you know, move three tigers here to get two cubs, to take one cub back, to how can all of this be going on and no money changing hands? Well, it does change hands. That's the thing is money is being wired to different people, MoneyGram, Western Union. Um, I mean, how can you sell $220,000 in tiger cubs? inside this in a six month period yeah. <laughs> I would love to be able to meet with you matter of fact when you we know, just I, started talking I started to get a little bit of excitement <clears throat> yeah I mean I know okay I'll give you the deal 
Well, I'll tell you where I'm yeah. at so that you'll feel yeah. a little bit better. I've had an open investor, and I'm hoping that I can trust you. I'm hoping that you're not one of Joe's guys calling to see if I'm looking into him. No, 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 no. I will put my cards on the table, but I need my... I don't need my name to be brought up on anything. Okay. I can keep you. I can keep you anonymous. What I need, because I've been working this for a couple of years, and I'm hitting some dead ends and kind of stalling because I don't know where or how to go next, because I don't know the ins and outs of the business. So I yeah. need somebody to kind of kick some ideas around and maybe explain to me a little more how the process works, so I can direct my investigation in a manner that's productive well everything's donated is what everybody claims but then this one's wiring this one money and there's what carol calls cluck cub exploiters okay i agree with carol on certain things i don't agree with breeding tigers using them for a few months and then throwing them away like trash Uh okay i don't agree with that right do I have tigers? No, my girlfriend does. We have five tigers at our house. Okay, so I have. We have. Well, my we, my wife, has a, a corporation. We have five tigers. We're not open to the public. We don't do the cub photo things. We don't even let anybody touch the tigers. They're just right. at the house. So just so you know, that's that. My tigers all came, or not my tigers. I don't. That, I know what you, I know what you mean, from, man. They came from Joe. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was going to do some business with Joe. I find out what a true person he is. I wipe my hands clean of that. And then, um, I mean, I got enough to, to bury him. Okay. That's okay, a- I mean, period. I, I know who sends money, Western Union, who does this, who does that. I could probably get the records. <clears throat> you know, but, you know, I'm, I have a store here in Ardmore. It's Tiger Liquidations. I have a store. I'm at my store every day. Okay. Whenever you're here or around here, you come by, we go eat lunch, whatever you want to do, and I'll give you the whole game. Okay. As long as you keep me out of it and none of this Carol back, you know, I just don't want to be in the middle of it. Right, right. But I'll give you enough to feed everybody. So everybody's everybody like this Doc Antle. He's the biggest scumbag ever. I don't know if you ever heard that name. Heard the name. What about the guy out of Indiana? Was it Tim Stark? Oh, but yeah, yeah. That's 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 who buys all the cups okay. from Joe. And they usually do money transfers by Western Union or MoneyGram. All right. How's Jeff Lowe fit into all this? <clears throat> uh, I know Jeff. I talk to Jeff periodically. Jeff does not like Joe. But Jeff's kind of stuck, has cats at his place, try to save him from Carol, realize it's ruining his whole life. He okay. He's not a bad guy. But he he knows that Joe's a monster. Okay. You know, so, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those deals. Okay. But, you know when they took those 19 Tigers in the other day? Yeah. Well, he killed 12 to make room to take the 19, took him to a taxidermist up in Oklahoma City. Took him to Terry's taxidermy. Somewhere by a strip club? Yep. <sighs> but and, all, and he, all of these animals were, did they, that... There was nothing the, wrong with them. The veterinarian Green says that natural causes. No. Okay. <laughs> Those animals were put down to make room to take in the 19. <clears throat> and they were put down, and then um, actually, I went to his park one day because he owed me some money. And I'm not doing this because, you know, whatever. Uh, there's a pizza joint there at his place. Uh-huh. I, I invested some money. He told me he's going to dub my money. He wouldn't give me any money, basically, screwed me. So I told him I needed my damn money, so I stopped by there. And then, you know, he was trying to sell me pelts and all this shit. Really? Yeah. I mean, he'll, he'll sell it to anybody. You go in there and just say, hey, I'm looking for a tiger skin. He'll sell it to you. He's, right. he's wide open. He thinks he's immune from everything. All right. 
You know, like everything I've done, I'd have been, you know, I've, I've done my share of wrongdoings. But, I mean, he, he thinks he can just get away with everything. And like that Doc Antle that buys the Cubs and he, he incinerates them right there on his property after he's done using them for photos. And there's just a lot of sick things that are going on in this industry. Okay. What are you, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm, I'm free. Um, I'm, I'm here at the shop, so, you know, you just tell me, uh, okay. you know, whatever. I mean, I, my thing is I just need to be anonymous. Right, right. I don't mind helping you take the whole shebang down. But, you know, I just you know, but, um, don't. We can talk more about it tomorrow, and I promise yeah. you. What I need is some information from you to document all this, and uh, it's just not something that you're dreaming up, you know. And, oh, yeah. And then um, see how we can, and I'll come back, talk to the U.S. Attorney, tell your whole story, um, have the, some documentation. Then the U.S. Attorney and I will be like, okay, we got to protect him. How can we use the information that he can get us and protect him? And it may be something that um, getting an undercover involved or something like yeah, that. Yeah, because I could, I could vouch for somebody and just say, hey, you know, this guy... Yeah, hit me up for a, a skin or whatever, and you know I, I'll help on that end. Yeah. I mean, I just don't agree with what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Those poor animals. Right. It's about mo it's about morals, and you know I called Carol Baskin, and I was going to fill her out, and but I was just then I backed up and I said, hey, no, then I'll be on all her websites, and then I'll be used for a political right. tool. And I'm not interested in all that. The reason I got your number is because Carol Baskin saw it was an 817 number. It was from this geographic area. Yeah. She, a lot of Joe's followers, which I believe his followers are sometimes almost cultish. Stupid. In, in the way that they follow him through anything. Stupid. Um, and that, obviously, you know that uh, there's been some threats towards Carol. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I personally don't care for carol what she's doing but yeah. you know i just it, it's just it shouldn't be used to you know we have the five tigers at the house and it's just like we feed them we take care mm -hmm. of them i work a regular job it's not about breeding cubs and taking them out on the road did i used to do that yes i was the same person i didn't do the, the killing and stuff but i knew the whole circle of the animal people and i knew you know who's bad who's not and the one, the people that he's supplying cubs to, are just all scumbags. Yeah. And he's supplying a lot. I mean, he just nonstop breeding, breeding, breeding. And uh, you know, Tim Stark, and uh, there's there's a bunch of others. Gotcha. But I mean, I have access. You know, I might have access to some internal stuff, maybe. Do you think uh, Jeff would ever flip and go against Joe? Oh fuck yes. He would. Yes. What would get him to do it? We'd have to talk about that in person. Gotcha. Um, tell you what, I'll be heading to Texas tomorrow. Okay. Um, I'd like to meet with you. Um, can you e email me back what your business is and your uh, your address? Yeah, I will. I'll send it back to you right now. It's, uh, it's called Tiger Liquidations. <laughs> okay. There's a big there's a big tiger on the window, so you know it's just uh, you know. Okay. That's that's my business. But anytime you want to meet, you know, we can step away and you know. Yeah, I could probably be down there around uh, oh, probably before lunch. Okay, that's and if, fine. If nothing, shit. If that doesn't work out, how does next Tuesday sound? Okay. Um, that might be a little tougher because I I have a business down in South Florida, jet ski rental business. Uh -huh. So I might have to go down there, um, but I'm not sure yet. I haven't put my schedule. I, I usually do two weeks here, two weeks down in South Florida. I have a, okay. a place called Wake Zone down there in the Keys. Because I have more, I may have more time Tuesday. Okay. But this, let me know what your schedule is. This is my cell phone. Text me. Okay. Text me. Texting is fine. Sometimes it's easier. Um, yeah. And just let me know. Um, if you can look and then I can see what my schedule are you, are you, is. Is your stuff in a fully available or none of that stuff? No. You know, where they get all those documents? Oh, no. okay. No. And plus, you and I can talk for a while. You're not going to have a name. You're not 
or nothing. Yeah, like he's at FOIA. Yes, stuff. You know, they always everybody's like he's doing the same thing that Carol's doing, and you know they're they're both accusing people and they're all doing the same stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just they're they're hypocritical about about everything they're doing. They're all doing the same stuff. You know, and it, it's just ridiculous. But yeah, do I think Jeff would? Yeah, because Jeff knows they can't cover all them lawsuits and you know Jeff's name's getting ruined and you know there's there's a lot of things you know but he, he's kind of trapped in there you know okay is when you have 25 animals there then you can't just pick them up and move down the road gotcha so but you know just uh whenever whenever you want to do it um well check your schedule brother and let me know what Tuesday looks like okay I'll shoot you an email uh give me uh an hour, son. I'll figure my schedule out, and I'll give you a give you a shout. No worries, brother. All right, thanks. Thanks, sir.